Right, hey guys, uh, yeah, been away for a while. Four months, I think, or over four months or thereabouts. I haven't, <coughs> haven't really, well, away from videos, I have done, did do hangouts in the four, uh, four months, but not in the past two to three months, I think. So it's mainly because I haven't had the motivation to build because of. Well, I wasn't on a hangout, but I was watching a hangout and completely and utterly cocked up, uh, mucked up, whatever you want to call it, a bit of the Sea Scout RC boat, thus destroying two of these 3 by 6s Yeah, I'm going to have to take my glasses off because it's getting old, and the new, the new, new well, the different glasses, the one you've seen, ones you've seen me wear before, because in September I lost it. Lost a pair and won't <laughs> return that to buy a new pair. But yeah, I broke two of these. I need to buy them. There's a two by uh, three by six bolster strips. I need to buy two more. So a lot of it's um, a lot of that's kind of it kind of ruined my motivation because I, to be honest, with you, I was a bit ang I was a bit stressed, a bit bunked up. Yet I still decided it'd be a great idea to build. Bravo me. Brilliant idea. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so it's me pre um uh, my previous projects have been on hold. I've got a couple of light coats on the um stop with pump. Um and it looks a lot sort of linen to me, but it's more yeah, probably more yellow in person. So what I might do is I might put a couple of light coats of white over the, the top of the yellow just to make it look a bit it looks like yeah, it looks like a linen like linen like yellow in the in person but it looks looks a little too dark for my liking iron in there dark blade paint looks too dark for his liking yeah i'm an enigma wrapped in a puzzle wrapped in a confusing ball of yarn yeah that's that's kind of my interpretation of uh, something one of my brothers says sometimes. Right, as I said, most of my projects are stalled. Um, my Lincolnshire regiment bloke still is not in his boxes. I, I probably did show you him off his plugs, but yeah, he's off his he's off his plugs and that. And there there he is. There's his body, as you can see, nicely, um, miles of detail as well. Only a couple of small problems where I accidentally damaged him trying to, step, um, trying to, um, trying to, uh, trying to test fit him. One of them being on his, um, water bot, water flask, losing its lid. But I can't scratch build the really scratch build the lid, but uh, cap and that. But I, as I said, I'm building it from a great biological great grandpa, and uh, to be honest with you, I'm, I don't think he would have a problem with it missing that. It's more of a thing of I don't. That's why I haven't done much on it. I don't want to rush it and cock it up any more. Well, muck it up, cock it up any more. Small children, you'll have to excuse my um, language at the moment. <laughs> well, not small children, children of all any age that shouldn't be here and swear, and I do apologise. But also, I got this the photo etch fret in it, obviously, with a, let's just try and get it on the camera, with the bits and pieces. If anyone out there watching my videos has any idea how I'm meant to build this photo etch rifle sling. Because I, I, um, I have tried to get into contact with Tommy's War, and I will try again. But if anyone's got any ideas, um, of how to do it, I will just send me a message on here or any of the forums I'm on. I'm only on two of them. Obviously, Dark Blade. Uh, just send me a private message or whatever. Um, obviously, just said top with pup. Now on to purchases, and that's obviously it was my birthday, that's towards the end of last month. 
Um, with my birthday, with my birthday money that I was given, then I'll just take the price off it. It was relatively cheap, uh, well priced. This I got myself. Well, it calls it a um, magnif um, head magnifier with like all the optivizers, obviously from. I'm um, little wear glasses, but my eyesight's pretty good. But obviously, for the fine detail and that, as many a uh, I think Cohen said it many times, and a couple of others, you need it to stop your eyes from straining on small details. Excuse me. Then uh, I do apologise if a couple of these are already shown because I honestly can't remember. Um, I got this for a pound in a charity shop quite a while back, and I know I haven't shown this on. I think it's a DFS one nine uh yeah, DF, DFS dash one nine four uh rocket powered research aircraft, obviously German um from PM models. Pretty simple kit, but uh, it might be a good kit to do a little bit of scratch building on. I've got plans actually next year. I said I lost my motor, but I've got um, um, what's the name to build, my motivation to build, and that. But I have got some ideas of, to do with sorry to do with scratch building in that coming the new year. Um, yeah, coming the new year and the likes. So. Yeah, with a, with a Spitfire, with a photo reconnaissance Spitfire and trying to scratch build cameras for it and possibly having it, if I could find pictures of a downed photo reconnaissance aircraft, having it downed but, or, or having it on a base with the panels cut out so you can see the camera or the glass, or with a, the little glass panel that they, um, that the, the lifts open on the side to put the camera in up as you can see the camera so I really want I've decided 2015 is going to be um I'm going to challenge myself a bit more with um like things like scratch building which I've not tried oh, well actually I have tried but it's frust it frustrated me but I've got to give it another, I'll give it another whack there are people, and have, have, have a good old whack at it, whack at it, and no, don't take any innuendo or double entendre from that, please. A double entendre, or however, however the French pronounce that word, from that, because I know Paul probably will. Uh, what else? Um, the other kits, Spark, no, but these, obviously those kits are... These kits are on. It's a Spark Liberation kit. I think I've post shown this before. If I have, I do, ap do apologise. But I think I did in my stash thing. I'm not sure. I've got, I'm obviously up there. I've got a load of, up above my head here. I've got a load of Vallejo paints. Some of them which I brought recently for the um, excuse me for the for the obviously the Lincolnshire Regiment. Um, Figure. Then obviously I had a ten pound when I rejoin join excuse me, I do apologise for all this face touching that in a moment. Um when I rejoined the Airfix Club this year I've got ten pound off if I spent twenty five pound. So I think I spend end up spending about about thirty odd quid and getting twenty five quid worth of kit thirty odd quid worth of kit twenty odd quid. Which isn't bad. I've got the um, Bristol Blenheim Mark One, only because I play War War Thunder and I, fall, I fly that plane. Uh, um, fly the pl no, I don't fly the Bristol Blenheim. The Bristol Blenheim I fly. This is the Bristol Blenheim I fly. I fly one of the versions of the Bristol Blenheim quite a bit on that, and I fell in love with it. And this next kit is a club. Special one, this is probably it. It's the Harrier first and last. Um, uh, uh, Harrier first, yeah, Harrier first and last. Club own, club members only kit, and it just it's one of those things I thought, do I get it? Don't I get it? I've wanted it for a while. Obviously, it's got the new, brand new GR1 that came out this year. 
was it this year or last year, whenever it came out, and obviously GR9 slash free kit, which which came out the year before, I think. And it, that's about all for that. And uh, was it another another reason? Um, another reason I've not been around much is well, I haven't been talking on the Facebook group chat and that, but not really been around too much. Is I've been doing. Right, things in my, like some of you know, I am in a band. I don't like to go down from the rooftops, I'm not exactly, but it's one of those things. I've been writing a lot of lyrics for it, and there's stuff going on with that that I can't really say anything about until next um, next year. Was well, stuff planned for next year that and that, and obviously I've been looking for work, but. Um, that and but yeah, I'm I'm hoping to be back with a vengeance, so to speak, next year. This is uh, this is probably going to be my last video of 2014. Unfortunately, a bit of a bit of a bad year. Some people, as people, yeah. not I've told no at the beginning, and to be honest with you, it's just it's just been one of those years. 2015, hopefully it's going to be better. Anyway, this has been Dark Blade 88, signing off for 2000, or signing off of videos for 2014, and see you in 2015. And look, look after, look, carry on modelling, look after yourselves, and in this, well, in this festive period, look after, and, and, and enjoy your time with your family, and that. As I said, see you next year and goodbye.